Hello Stamper, welcome to Francis video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up and today I'm going to share with you how to do a plus greeting card that looks like a cell phone. I say a plus because it's big, right? Let me move this a bit. Here we go. First, I'm going to warn you, need a sense of humor with what I stamp on it. So, let's go with it. The stamp set I'm using, it sticks you later. And I'm going to share a few tips with this. And it's bigger than the one that I did in the past. This was the one that a whole stamp set that I did in the, ba in the past. Well, this time I switch a little bit. Look at my phone and that. I just get the tiny one, but one of my friends get the big plus, I guess. And it's about this size. And um, to make it funny, uh, I mean funny, I had to look through uh, this here to see how it was. So... Let's get started, and I got stamp all over for this. So why I said we need a sense of humor, because I put a crap yes of birthday to you. And to be honest, that would be something I would type, because I'm horrible at typing, and when it comes to text, it's even worse. So I put the little sad face, because that's the response we would get. Then I put the oops, no, no, I meant appiest. So let's get started. First thing you want to start with, it's a piece of basic black that measure 11 on the long way and 3 and 3 quarters. So 3 and 3 quarter by 11, score at 5 and a half. We're going to fold this in two here. I'm using the envelope punch board and we're going to punch all the back in the back all the four corners both layers at the same time so it match perfectly because I want those uh, rounded so that's the card base now I have to be careful the inside so the inside measure three and a half by five and a quarter and also the top for the goal so we're going to put those two together at the same time well, better now. Let's um, put that. You want to make sure that you do both uh, the corners that it's all straight in. If not, you won't get the straight in. Now, for the gold, it's the same size. That's for the top. This one, it's the inside. Now, for the top, the gold, just the surrounding there. So, this measure um, three and a half by five and a quarter. Punch, 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 and punch. Now, for the white on top, I just wanted a tiny bit of gold because really it's just a tiny bit. You get gold or silver, so on. So this one measured three and uh, three eight by five and one eight. I'm going to have all measurement on my blog in case if I didn't give you the right measurement here. And I noticed I forgot two punch. I got one there. So I want it for my, where you click the half and on there. Well, my thing was a bit too big. And I, don't, I didn't have a circle between the three quarter and the half. So I'm punching out of this here because really we're wasting. You can punch something else if you need for down the road. And then I got the half inch circle in the white. So what I done, I let's remove this because this is done. For this, we're gonna glue both together and do some little uh, trimming there. So take your white here, put that on your gold. If you get you know smaller, like a 3 8 that would be perfect I didn't so what I done I just went around free and cut it and it's kind of not the best round shape here but it's going to work for this I said so if you get one because if I leave all that gold was too much for me so you see I just moved the paper really not the scissors so not bad right for free and we're going to call it good so now let's remove this. Now we're going to put that at the bottom. Hmm. Here it is. 
going to eyeball that there. You can measure it to you know the center if you want. I just eyeball. Now I just use a little strip. It's about a quarter inch that. And just cut. Here we go. About like this. See? And really it's almost too thick. So I'm going to go even less. Here we go. Now I'm going to use my Tombow glue for that though. Just because it's so... Uh, tiny so let me just put the oops when I pee on the glue there I'm gonna put that about oops let's say this is about the center here now I'm using the cookie cutter punch that we need the uh, not the bigger white the tiny white there that little piece there. Okay, we're going to do just a tiny little dot here. I won't worry too much if I get glue on the side because I can take the eraser after it dry and really this is not even in the center. Let's try to choop choop. Here we go. So I'm going to take the eraser later. Now I'm just using, for the other little dot here, I'm just using, oh, see, I think I get an eraser here. It's better if you let it dry completely, so I'm going to wait for the top. I'm just using my um, black marker here and just do one little dot. Here we go. So that is done. Now let's start building our conversation. So first thing, I went with, uh, I would say, the large one there. And that is done with the memento. So we're going to do this with the memento. Going to put that right there. And then I'm going to turn this around. No, uh... Okay, this is it. Crappiest of birthday to you. That made me laugh. I hope you guys get a good sense of humor. Now, this here, it's the full one. What I use, it's Smoky Slate. And in my phone, when I look, it's get a little gray for the other person when she texts you. So I'm inking this. Stamp off first. And then come right here. Et voila. I bet you don't see the difference, but you can see the gray now. Okay? So that's how I build my conversation. Now the next step, I'm going to do one more because it's different. When you reply, it's in the blue. So I'm using Tempting Turquoise. And I'm using the medium one here. Okay, I want to do a happy face. Well, the happy face has to be yellow. So I'm using the tiny little dots that it's part of that. Let me put this down here. And I'm going to put that right there. And that gives me an idea on where I want to clean that. I'm using a Q-tip. Even if it's bigger a little bit, that's okay. Here we go. I'm just squeezing that there. Clean. Perfect. I get a perfect circle clean. See this? Now I'm going to take this. Nope. I want my face that way. Voila. Now I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, my sad face. Oops. Before the sad face, I need something else first. We need the yellow. Let me wipe this here. And I'm using Daffodil. Put that in my circle. See? Perfect. Now let's try that again. Uh, black ink. Where did I put you black ink? Oh, right in front of me. It would have bite me. Get my sad face. 
voila so now you get a clue how to build any type of conversation you would be the blue and the one that or you would be the this one here and then the one that responds it's in the blue <coughs> excuse me now let's build that together i'm going to finish that conversation as long as you get the clue how it is oh my goodness and that was the inside this one should have been here so we're going to fix that how are we going to fix that well let's take this just need to i think that's going to work let's hope so and i can put another one for the inside that work that work let's see how that go on the go oh and it's too long and i cannot i think we still can fix that see so you want to make sure because the inside and the outside it's two different uh size i think i can i think i can i think i can right that's what the little trains say and that's what Frenchy say. Ha ha! So you see, if you make a mistake, it's always a way to fix something. I could have cut my uh, another goal a little bit bigger there too. And then I would put that on top. Easy match. And then on top of my black. See the circle? Not, nobody gonna know you use that piece there. Gonna put that at the top here. Let me make sure this is. Just make sure that um, if you get little piece that didn't punch all the way, just make sure that you remove this. And I could see right here. Here we go. Sometimes it's just whatever the foil there. Now we're gonna put that on top. So I get a nice border of the black, a nice border of the gold. Et voila. So this is what you're going to get when you're done. I'm going to have all measurements on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. And this is the same thing. I use the smaller one, the long one again, and I use the smoky slate, but stamp off first. If not, it's going to be too dark. So I hope you enjoy my uh, plus cell phone for a birthday card but it's a lot of message on this i mean many many things you can say miss your face i mean you get all those things and you get all those icon too so this is it for now till next time happy stamping and again below in the description you're going to have the link for my blog for all measurement and the supply are above in the eye have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now